Name something that's going on in 2022 that you still just don't understand. Your answer to this question was melanated or black Christians. That's what you don't understand in 2022. So I would like to make another response to this video. But here, let me just help you understand why it makes sense to be a black Christian. Number one, starting with the text of the New Testament, we already see black people present. So we see a black man who helps carry the cross of God himself, Jesus Christ. The Ethiopian eunuch gets saved in the book of Acts, which is the church history book for the New Testament. Number two, Africa was actually the first continent to have Christianity as a religion. Third point to note is that Christianity was not necessarily persecuting anyone for their race in the early centuries of the church. Rather, it was Christianity that was being persecuted. And you can read about this in Just Mars First Second Apology, Eusebius's church history, and various other ancient and even contemporary scholarly works that talk about the persecution that Christians went under. And even going back as far as the New Testament documents, we see this kind of persecution as well. A fourth point to note is that some of the greatest theologians of the past and present are black. So more contemporary times, you could say people like Martin Luther King Jr. You could say Voody Bauckham. I would actually rank up there. I really enjoy Voody Bauckham's work. Please go check him out. But if you want to go back very far, then you definitely can. We see people like Tertullian. We see people like Augustine. We see people like Athanasius, who is the Bishop of Alexandria in Egypt and was persecuted not for his race, before his theological convictions and his defense of the dogma of the Holy Trinity. Fifth point to make is that salvation is for all races and ethnic groups, and we see this kind of idea in Galatians 3, 27 through 28, Revelation 7, 9, as well as Psalm 22, 27 through 31. And so with all of that said, it actually makes a lot of sense to be black and to be Christian because there have always been black Christians and by the will of God, there will always be black Christians. If you want more resources, I would check out Ready to Harvest on TikTok, Our Church Speaks on Instagram, as well as Ryan Reeves and Vocab Malone on YouTube if you want some resources about church history. Vocab Malone's channel is of particular interest here because he deals with the Kemetic community, Hebrew Israelites, and he also has an entire playlist on black church history that I in particular really enjoy. And stay tuned for part two.